pop quiz. Yeah. You thought we were finna be knee deep in a skit right about now. You thought we were finna be laughing at key, 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 key. No. Let me hold them keys real quick. Yeah, we finna put you to work this episode. Okay, so this is what I need you to do real quick. Go ahead and answer this question for me. Can you hear money? Can you hear money with your sink agent after the contract is over? Now, if you hear this money, yeah, can you go ahead and sue them about that? Go ahead and get spicy in the comments real quick with the answer. Let me know is you is you suing or what is you doing? What can you do legally? Could we could we talk about it? Cause look, last episode you just got rid of your sink agent, so now they out here making you money. Go ahead and tell me in the comments. Get real spicy. What you is you suing? What is you doing? Okay, let's go. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What you say now? When you talk money, I can hear you. You ain't got money, that's a cold blood. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. Bubble on deck. I'm your host, Tamara Bubble. Yeah. AKA your favorite sync superstar. AKA the I Hear Money coach. And I hear it on this episode. Yeah. AKA Lou. AKA, I ain't talking about the sorority. Shout out to the sorority, but I'm talking about me find me right now. I'm your host. AKA the messenger this episode. AKA the messenger of this podcast. Hands up, don't shoot. Anyway, that's a message for somebody else. But right now what we're talking about is don't shoot the messenger. And I'm your host. I'm the messenger. Bubble on deck. Yeah. Guess what? Look. It's time. It's t- look, it's smart podcast time. I'm trying to tell you this smart pal. This look, this podcast is so smart. It's gonna keep on ticking. Look, time's still running right now. While you go ahead and subscribe, like it's subscribe time. While you go ahead and look five star review me up. Go ahead and review me five stars on this podcast. Five stars only. Look, why would you waste time and not give all the stars that's capable? Look, I'm giving you all the gems that's available for sync. Give me all the stars available. Anyway, five-star review like you know what to do. Go ahead and like, share. I done told you. You should have already commented. Okay. Look, don't shoot the messenger. I told you to leave in the comments what you're going to do with your ex. We talking about your ex this episode. We talking about the sync agent monster. Look, that's, look, out here still pitching your music. How dare they? Is it legal? Go ahead and let me know in the comments real quicky quick. Look, that's a part of this subscribe time. While you out here subscribing, I'm trying to give you something to, to subscribe to. I'm giving you reasons to subscribe for. Look. There's four goals. There's four reasons you should be subscribing. Here they are. Here's why the the podcast was created. Look, look, the goal number one, the number one goal, we're trying to save you money. Everybody like a discount. Look, people get excited when they hear 70% off. What if I told you, look, you're going to get back 70% of the money you would have had to pay to Uncle Sam. You don't like them discounts? Look, goal number one is to save you money in your sink. Business. Yeah, I need you to have a sync business. If you don't, look, if you don't, the Sync Superstar Academy. Look, oh, oh, look, I just realized. Let me finish what I was saying. Sync Superstar Academy got start your sync biz now. It's a quick reference guide. Go ahead and go. Look, go ahead and do that. Anyway, go number two. Yeah, go number two is to make you more music license. I hear money this episode. Get excited. I'm about to tell you how to get more money this episode. Anyway. And, and and we're gonna find out if you can sue your agent so you could get even more money look go ahead and put in the comments what you would do but anyway goal number two is to get you more money in your music lives to see goal number three is to transform your mindset get your mind right get, get your mind out the gutter and get it in this sink superstardom look because when you do all one two and three number four is just gonna pop it, it's just going to happen. Look, your superstar going to get activated. Goal number four is to activate your superstar. I'm trying to tell you it's in you. I'm trying to say you already a superstar. It just ain't activated. You just don't know how to get it popping out here in these sink streets. Anyway, that's the goals of this podcast. We're going to pop it off for you. Look, I'm trying to tell you who we is because there's a sponsor for this episode. There's a sponsor on this podcast. The sponsor for this episode is the Sync Superstar Academy. Now, I had already mentioned them earlier, but I was supposed to tell you who sponsored this before I even got the yapping about them goals. But anyway, 
I got excited. I got it. I get excited about goals anyway. Cause I look, I be look, everybody love goals. Everybody hashtag a goal. I'm trying to tell you the goals of this podcast. So I forgot to tell you who the sponsor. I forgot to tell you who put this whole thing together. Anyway, the sync superstar Academy is out here challenging the people. The sync superstar Academy is out here teaching the people. Look, the website is sync superstar.com. So many resources. I'm just look. I just want you to win. I want you to stop making mistakes out here. I want you to stop doing things out here going to get you sued. I don't want to see you up here in jail over sync. I'm trying to make your day. <laughs> look, and I'll be sponsoring it one episode at a time. Out here, look, just sponsoring it for no reason. Anyway, go ahead and visit that sync superstar academy. Go ahead and take that challenge. Look, go ahead and look. Find out, look, could you do this for me? Find out the mistakes that you make. There's a whole book out here right now. This is my third book that I wrote. I'll be out here reading and writing and arithmetic anyway and hearing money. You know what I hear? I hear you losing money because you're making mistakes. I hear there's five mistakes that you're making. They killing your career. Look, go ahead and see about that. Okay. I can't tell you there's mistakes right now. I wrote them in a book. There's a lot more, <laughs> but I didn't want to scare you away from sync. I just want you to, and not even from sync. Sorry. That book is not just for sync. That book is actually don't even really mention sync. That book is talking about mistakes you just making in music as a producer, as a songwriter, as a wicka wicka DJ, look, as an artist, as a musician. Yeah, that, that book is on the basic level. These are music mistakes you making. Anyway, look, the website is five killer mistakes. WW, WW, look, WW, <laughs> anyway. FiveKillerMistakes.com for that book. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Anyway, it's sponsored by the Sync Superstar Academy. So I just wanted to mention that, who the sponsor is. And now I need to mention the who the disclaiming is. The disclaiming is coming from me. The disclaiming is just saying that, look, we're going to talk about contracts again this episode. We're going to talk about agents. We're going to talk about suing people. Yeah, I need you to know I'm not your lawyer. Not this episode. Not last episode. <laughs> look, I ain't your tax professional. This advice is just free scent game. Okay, this podcast costs you nothing. Free 99. Get these gems on the low. Get these gems on the free free. Okay, anyway, go ahead and learn. But just know that you need to speak to professionals to implement strategies and things that's suggested, ideas and things that's recommended. Look, this is look, my personal opinion. This ain't nothing you can sue about. This ain't no consultation. This ain't, look. This is not professional legal advice. This is bubble on deck. Okay, now let's get into the show. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What is that now? Hey. You ain't got money, then you start selling funny, and I just can't hit all my. I keep it moving like a tax collector, let the credit check, go let the whole world pay full price. Wow. You ain't got money, then you start selling funny, and I just can't shake that price. Okay, now, look. We finna talk about. No. I know you think we finna talk about that pop quiz I gave you. I done told you, put your spicy answer in the comments. You finna get your answer throughout this episode. I'm the messenger. I'm finna teach you the episode. Okay, the episode is called Don't Shoot the Messenger. The episode is not called Answer the Pop Quiz at the beginning so you can exit out. No, 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 no. No, ma'am. No, sir. Anyway, you gonna get your answer throughout this episode. But let's look. Let's talk about that sync agent monster right because the last episode you was out here calling them a monster and they was out here trying to make your day i need for you real quick to stop calling your agent a monster this is not look, this is not boogity boo this is not okay there's a monster under my bed okay this look the sink agent is not the monster they are the messenger and i done told you this episode is called don't shoot the messenger now the sync agent, let me just tell you, because this is the way I feel. Okay, I'm both artist and agent, but I'm speaking on behalf of the agent board. Okay, it's an unofficial board of agents. Anyway, the sync agent is the most under, I notice I said under, okay, not over, underappreciated job in the sync industry. I'm just, look, look, this is my personal opinion. But anyway, let me show you why. Remember a couple episodes back, I was telling y'all as an artist, if you pitching your music and a music buyer hits your doorknob, right? Look, ring up on your, hit your line and say, hey, I got a couple of dollars for you. Will you sign this agreement? I told you, don't eat. Look, I told you do a paperwork test on them, right? Don't even accept this placement. If it ain't worth the amount of paperwork, you go, look, if the money they're giving 
ain't worth the amount of paperwork you doing. Now, fast forward to these sync agent monsters. Let me tell you what these monsters out here doing. They out here doing paperwork and don't even know if they're going to get no money from your music. Look, can we talk about this underappreciated job of the sync agent? First of all, you all know if you sign the right agreement, the agent only eats what they kill. Look, if they don't get you no placements, they don't get no money. But let me tell you, look. They out here doing paperwork and don't even know if they're going to get no money. First of all, let's just talk about music. I done told you a couple episodes ago. Don't nobody care about your music. Now, them fans ain't out here wanting to hear your music. Them music buyers don't want to deal with you directly. So the sync agent is the only one out here caring a little bit. Now, look, a little bit of their care is self-interest. They looking to get some money, but they still doing work when don't nobody else care about your music. Okay, you ain't even pitching your music. You going to them. So, so look, do you even care about your music? Why you ain't pitching it anyway? Let's talk about these monsters, right? And this underappreciated monstrous job that they doing, right? Because look, they only eat what they kill, right? They out here doing paperwork. They out here signing your song. Look, first of all, they got to take time to listen to your music. Some of your music might be trash. They still listening. They hearing music and don't even know if they're going to get money from it. So they taking time out listening. That's the first job. Then the second job, they out here filling out paperwork. And I done told y'all, don't even, look. if you ain't getting paid enough, don't even do that paperwork. These agents got to do the paperwork before they even can, can pitch and see if they can get you some money. So now they done did two jobs. They done listened to your music and they didn't have to. And nobody else wasn't caring about it. They done did paperwork. Look, they done signed your song. They done, look, they done had to do admin and ain't even no placement come in. They filling out metadata. If you didn't do it right, okay, even if you did, they have to still update things and put their contact information and do it correctly anyway. Look, that ain't all the work they done did for you for free. (laughs) Look, anyway, after they do the paperwork, after they listen to your music, after they done, look, they start pitching your music. Look, they signed an agreement with you. Maybe the deal is for a year. They've been pitching your music for a year. Look, 365 days of work for free. Look, I'm trying to tell you why they underappreciate it. Next time you look, next time you see your agent, just tell them thank you. Thank you for trying. Thank you for trying to hear money on this music. Look, they don't listen to the music. They visionaries. They could hear, oh, I could get some money off of this music. Let me go ahead and sign that, right? They start pitching your music. They've been pitching it for a year. Look, can you come one year later like... Ew, you didn't get me no money. You didn't hear no money from me. You lied. You told me you took you hearing some money. Where are my placements at? I want look, uh, give me my songs back. That's what you were talking greasy. You got real greasy on that sink monster, right? Look, you took your song, right? You bit ounce. You bounce. You look. I want my I want my songs back. Look, I didn't look. You went to typing. You got your notification window right. You listened to the last episode. You said, I'm getting out of this contract. Give me my songs back. Period. You put no my, backspace. Give me my songs back. Exclamation. Period underneath it. Look, let me tell you something. You got spicy with that monster when they was out here working for free, trying to get both of y'all a quick dollar. Okay, trying to hear money for the both the use. You bounced. And now I got a question for you. Look. What's the number one way to know if you left your agent too soon? You want to know? I got a question for you, but I got an answer too. Yeah. (laughs) They make money for you after you leave. And let me tell you how they did it. Look, I said, don't shoot the messenger. I said, don't leave nasty. I said, don't leave greasy. I said, be professional. I said, if you want to be a superstar, you need to be professional in everything you do. You out here leaving greasy and your agent was working for free. You didn't even thank them for all the work they put in. Look, could could we just talk about this? Could we talk about the fact that they did a whole year's worth of work on your song and no placements came in? And I just need you to know, put in the comments, who should we blame? Okay, because look, they've been working your song. (laughs) I ain't talking about, look, because I know how artists think. I'm an artist. I know how artists think. Look. Artists been sitting back saying, they ain't do no work. They ain't get me no money. They ain't did nothing. They, look, some artists will reach out. They will reach out to an agent with the spicy nerve. They be saying, can you let me know what you've been pitching? 
Oh, now you my supervisor. Ew. <laughs> Look, you could go pitch to your network if you need to supervise my work anyway. First of all, just sit back. Dear artist, dear producer, dear songwriter, dear whoever owns the song. Anyway, you signed an agreement, right? I told you I was going to pitch it, right? Or any agent you signed to. This ain't just about me. This is about agents. I'm speaking on behalf of agents. Anyway, we signed the art, the song, right? You think that look, I already ain't got time. I'm trying to tell you now it's skin 30 and I ain't got no time out here in these streets. I need more than 24 hours a day because I'd be working anyway. You think I'm going to waste time and do paperwork? I just sit back and think about this now. I don't eat until I get you the placement, right? The sink agent not eating until they get you a placement. <laughs> you think they're going to spend time and listen to your music? Tell you they like it and then not pitch it. Uh, look, if you're an artist, just go ahead in the comments. Tell me how they're going to make money. Tell me how they're going to make you any money. Tell me how they're going to eat this year if they don't pitch the music. What exactly are you thinking they doing? You thinking they putting it in a catalog so they can listen to it for free? Are you thinking they trying to listen and not put a stream on your account? Like what, what exactly are you talking about? <laughs> Who going to sign a song and not do nothing with it? Okay, anyway, y'all be thinking backwards out here. Y'all be blaming y'all uh, uh, agents and you you calling them monsters. But what, look, I just want to ask you who's the real monster because they done worked your song for a year. They done worked your song for a year or two, maybe a year or two or three. I don't know how long your deal was. They didn't get no placements. Now, who fault is that? Look, they, they took it to their contacts. The contacts don't want it. At least they don't want it right now. You mad at them and they the only one was working for free. You know, during this time period, you wasn't working. They were. Anyway, you call in and check in for progress reports when baby, the progress report will be when the placement come in. But now you need to know who they pitched it to. Let me ask you something. Does it matter? They didn't accept it. If they pitched it to a million places, you didn't get one sink from it. Okay, so now. Whose fault is that? Maybe it's your song. Did you ever think, did you ever think when you pointing that finger, there's three back there pointing back at you. Look at them fingers back here pointing. Look, get to thinking. If you want a superstar out here, I need you to stop talking to these sync agents like they monsters when they've been working your music for free and getting no money out of it. It might be your song. I'm just trying to tell you. Could you, could you look at all the possibilities? Anyway, they didn't did all that work, right? Now, a placement come in after the fact. I didn't forget about the question I asked because I asked you a question earlier. What's the number one way to know that you left your sync agent too soon when they get a placement after you gone? Now, so the pop quiz at the beginning was talking about, can you get money with your ex? Okay. Could you get money with your ex sync monster, with your ex sync agent, with your ex sync boo 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 when the contract is over? And the answer is yeah. <laughs> the answer is yeah. Wait, hold up. If your agent is smart, the answer is yeah. That's when that money come in. When you done talk greasy. When you talk greasy and you walked up out the door. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Just because you don't see the placement come in. That just means the right scene hasn't found your song yet. That don't mean the agent wasn't working. That might just mean that they don't, the, the contacts that they got don't want your little song. That don't mean the agent wasn't working. Yeah. Anyway. There's a look. If your sync agent is smart, there's a clause in that contract, the c -c contract that you didn't read. Yeah. Anyway, that 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 it's like a line or two. It's a look. Look, it's a quickie, quickie little clause. It's a little one or two liner. Matter of fact, it's right up in that look. At last episode, we were talking about term and termination. It's right up in that area. You should be reading your contract in that area, looking for this clause, because it's gonna be a clause up in there that says. I be working. I'm an agent. I've been doing all this work for free. Now, when you terminate this agreement, I'm going to get paid for that work I did in the past. Yeah. Look, no sink left behind. Could we take a, could we take a page out of George W. Bush book? <laughs> he was reading the book upside down. But I want to tell you, it said no sink left behind or no child left behind. Something like that. Anyway. Look, I'm not going to do this work for a year and then the year roll around and you bounce and you leave ungrateful. 
ill. You ain't thanking me. You hating right. You look right now. You hate me. You it's calling me a monster. You out here telling other artists, oh, don't work with them because they can get your music played. No, maybe I couldn't just get your music placed. Maybe I couldn't get your song placed. That don't mean I can't get that music placed. Don't recommend me negatively. Anyway, I ain't even talking about me. I'm talking about sync agents, the monsters that you out here talking bad about. Okay, you running their names in the mud and they was working for you for free. And you didn't blame your music. You blame them. You tried to check up on their work progress. You trying to get report. You look, you got the nerve to tell them to do more work for free and show you what work they did. When they could be out here pitching somebody else music. If you don't go kick a rock barefoot. Okay. Take your sandals off and kick a rock on the wall. Anyway. Look, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you now you tripping, you slipping and you dipping and you diving and you making big mistakes out here. Every episode you out here. Look, I need to make a fourth book. There's more than five mistakes. You be making them anyway. Could we just talk about how this sink don't get left behind? Because there's a clause in the agreement. Yeah, and one or two liner and it just says like if I pitch music if I do do work because you be thinking I'm not working when I'm out here working if I pitch something and a placement come from the work that I did in the past I'm gonna get my money in the future I can hear money in the future even though you bounced yeah and it's legal yeah anyway look artists be artists be so spicy they be out here thinking like Oh, no, she didn't still pitch my music when I told her I want my songs. But look, you're not that special. They didn't keep pitching your music after the agreement was over. I'm trying to tell you now, there's no sync left behind. And these placements are coming as a result of the work that they did during the term. And that's what's going to be in the agreement. Look, the sync agent smart. It's going to be in the agreement that they get to still get paid. Matter of fact, they get to admin the deal. So they still get to negotiate. Yeah. You don't get to take the first of all, you as an artist, somebody working for you for free and a placement come years later after you done bounced and you don't want them to get their share of that. Ew. Like that's kind of low down. I'm just saying, look within yourself. Okay. Anyway. Let's get to the salute because we was getting real greasy right there. That episode was starting to get too greasy. I need to back up out of that grease. I need some Dawn to wash up all this grease that we spilling over and talking about. Anyway, look, the first salute is Dawn shoot the messenger. I'm trying to tell you now, these messengers out here working, they out here working these records, you know, and they not being appreciated for it. And they doing it for free. If don't no money come from your song. They done did they part. They can't make a music buyer use your music. First of all, the music buyer wouldn't even have listened to your music if they didn't have that relationship. So they look, they they knocking on the music buyer door. Knock, 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 knock. Can you listen to this song that don't nobody know? Can you listen to this song that ain't got no streams on it? Yeah, I, I hope it ain't got no, uh, I tried to vet them. They might have an uncleared sample in there. I don't even know, but I'm trusting that they don't because my ears said that they didn't. I think I hear money and I think you should hear it so we can make some money. That's what they doing on your behalf. And here you are saying, they didn't get me no placement. They trash. Don't put your music with that raggedy agent. Don't put your music with that sink monster. Like, ew, who are you? Who raised you? I don't even want to know who you are. You showing who you are with that grease. But I need to know who raised you anyway. Here's another thing you could do. You want solutions. I got solutions. Not solutions. I got solutions. Anyway, the next thing you could do is read the contract. Because you would know that this is perfectly legal. Look, first of all, I done told you when the term ended, when you followed the right protocol, you got about that agreement. You got about the contract. That don't mean that they're going to not get paid for the work that they previously did during the contract while it was still active. I'm trying to tell you now, you didn't know they was working, but they was working. Yeah. Now, when that money come to fruition three, four, five years later, I need you to know they're going to get paid for it. Matter of fact, they're going to admin the deal. Yeah. And they still going to pay you too. Yeah. Anyway. Um, they're going to look, they're going to do some more work for you when they don't even work for you. Ew. Anyway, look, another solution, you could apologize. Like, 
you could go back and say, you know what? I thought about it. And I like this placement. I like that. Look, I know you was working because you got me a placement. And we don't even work together no more. I, I want to tell you one thing. I appreciate you. Because you still gave me some money. Look, you look, you heard the money. You had the vision. Okay? I, I'm sorry. I know you ain't going to do that. But I just want to tell you, it is a solution. <laughs> Cause look, artists got egos, and art, artists don't be apologizing. Artists be blaming people. I'm just, I'm an artist and an agent, so I know. I'm trying to tell you, I know you. You think I don't know you, but I do. Yeah, you ain't apologizing. Ew. Anyway, you could apologize and be like, "Could we look? Could we go together again?" Like, I still got that song. Cause look, let me tell you what happened. The agent her money. You left. You left too early because look, the placement came in after they stopped working it. Imagine the money you could have heard if they had been pitching all this time that you bounced all this time after the term ended. You know how many sync opportunities you missed out on? I'm just trying to tell you because you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. You didn't know that they was working that song even though it wasn't getting placed. And you don't know how much money you missed out on since you left because now they ain't been pitching it to new opportunities. You getting money from the old work they did. Now imagine if you had stayed all that time and let them keep pitching. Anyway, <laughs> look, you could just hit them up on some. You're not a monster. I love you. I'm sorry. Could you take this song back? I would like for you to keep working and me thinking that you're not working. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> look, look, another solution. I, look, I ain't got nothing but solutions. Anyway. Why you out here hating on the sync agent monster? Look, you could look, give them a song, right? You made a song, you gave them a song. Don't stop taking it back. Get them that song. How about you sit down and go make another song? Did you ever think about that? Like, if one agent could be working this one song, what if I had two songs? Look, I could be hearing money more than once. I could be hearing money all the time off of both songs instead of just hearing money off of one song. Yeah, anyway. Look, I want you to make more money in music licensing. I need you to hear this money. I need you to know that an agent that take your song is planning on making money. Yeah, anyway. Look, and I told you the number one way to know if you left an agent too soon was if you hear money after the contract is over. Now, you done missed them opportunities. That you done shot your messenger. Bang, 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 bang. Give me my song. You done shot the messenger. I'm trying to tell you, they might not accept your apology. But I need you to know that you missing out on money. So if you need to apologize to try to get that song back with that agent, go ahead and do that. Look, if not, just know that that was a killer mistake. Okay, don't, don't do it no more. Stop shooting the messenger. Yeah, they working for free. They working for you. They trying to make you a superstar. And you out here being ungrateful. You out here running their name in the mud when they've been working. And your song ain't been connecting. Yeah. Bubble on deck. Look if you broke, don't talk to me. I said if you broke, you can't talk to me. Hey. I only hear money, babe. You talk money, I hear you.